Hello, my name is Scientist Cindy. Let's learn about the menstrual cycle. The cycle is controlled by a complex and delicate dance between competing hormones released from three key body regions, the hypothalamus, the pituitary gland, and the ovaries. The thalamus releases gonadotropin-releasing hormone, or GNRH. Gonadotropin-releasing hormone travels from the thalamus to the pituitary gland. Gonadotropin-releasing hormone causes the pituitary gland to produce follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH. The pituitary, therefore, establishes a baseline for FSH and LH levels. Okay, but what does FSH and LH do? Well, they travel from the pituitary gland through the bloodstream to the ovary. ovary, follicle-stimulating hormone triggers the development of the follicle. And as the follicle matures, it secretes more estrogen. We call this the follicular phase of the menstrual cycle. FSH from the pituitary causes the follicle to mature and the more mature the follicle gets, the more estrogen is released. causes an increase in estrogen levels in the bloodstream. Estrogen inhibits the pituitary gland from producing follicle-stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Estrogen also causes the uterine lining, called the endometrium, to get thicker. Estrogen levels will keep climbing until the levels are so high that they trigger an LH surge from the pituitary. The surge of LH triggers ovulation. This is when the ovum gets released from the follicle. Ovulation marks the halfway point of the menstrual cycle. After this, 
we move on to the luteal phase. After ovulation has occurred, the follicle transforms into the corpus luteum. The corpus luteum secretes progesterone. This progesterone causes the endometrium to transform into a thicker, more vascularized bed capable of supporting a pregnancy. The corpus luteum will degrade over the next two weeks. When the estrogen and progesterone levels drop in the body, some women may experience PMS or premenstrual syndrome. PMS can make you feel tired. It can make you feel stressed out or depressed or angry. Some women experience headaches. notice that you might crave some unhealthy foods but don't worry it's normal and you're not alone here are some suggestions that might help talk to a friend take a walk outside Try over-the-counter remedies. Don't forget to talk to your doctor about the symptoms that you are experiencing. Replace unhealthy foods with guilt-free healthy ones. There's a lot of support out there. Don't be shy. After about 28 days, the cycle starts again. Day one of the menstrual cycle is marked by the onset of menstruation or bleeding. And there you have it. That's the menstrual cycle. Thank you for watching. See more at scientistcindy.com.